Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven countries that I've traveled to before that I would like to go back to and live as a digital nomad for a long period of time. And that video is going to come up right now. Between 2016 and 2017, I took the time to travel around the world for one year. And some of those countries that I visited, I really fell in love with. And I wanted to live in those countries for a much longer time and really get to know those countries. Now, some of these countries I'm not in love with, but I did find them interesting enough that I want to go check them out. So the first one on the list that I definitely want to live long term and try out as a digital nomad in that place is Colombia. I've already stayed in Colombia before for 38 days, and it's one of the best experience I've ever had when it comes to traveling. As a matter of fact, when I left, I felt really sad because I fell in love with the country. The people there are really friendly, the landscapes are awesome, and living there is very nice. If I do get a chance to go back there again and live long term, I definitely want to check out Medellin again, as well as Guatapé and other cities that I did not get a chance to visit, such as Cartagena and Santa Marta. And one of the cities that I think most people are not aware of, but I thought was really cool, was Bucaramanga, which is a city in the eastern side of Colombia near Venezuela. Like I said, the cost of living in Colombia is very low and the food is great and the temperature is just right. So if you want to be a digital nomad, I think Colombia is a good place for you to go. The second one on the list is Vietnam. And I got a chance to live in Vietnam before for one whole month and that was in Da Nang. And I would say it was just okay. It wasn't my favorite place. The people there were super nice and friendly, but I just found the city to be slightly boring, even though it was really friendly. I did get a chance to check out Hanoi as well, and Hanoi is more exciting, but it wasn't as friendly as Da Nang, so that's the part that I didn't like about that part so much, even though I have a friend who lives in Hanoi, and I had a blast hanging out with him. I also got a chance to take my girlfriend for a one-week vacation in a city called Nha Trang, and I really like Nha Trang, but it's super touristy, so I'm not sure if that's like the best place to try living as a digital nomad. So I think the next time I go there, the place I definitely want to check out is Ho Chi Minh because ironically, as it sounds, I've actually never stayed there long term. I've only been to the airport really. So that's the place I definitely want to check out next time I go to Vietnam. Number three on the list is Thailand. And Thailand was one of those countries that I've always thought was overrated until I got a chance to live there. And I'm like, oh my God, this country is totally not overrated. As a matter of fact, the hype that Thailand gets really lives up to the hype. It's really that cool of a country to live. The cost of living is quite low and people are friendly. Food is amazing. Probably one of the best places for food around the world. They have really fast internet. So if you want to live as a digital nomad, that's the place to do it. I've already gotten a chance to live for almost a month in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And I absolutely missed that experience. When I left Chiang Mai, I was so sad. I just loved that place so much. And I don't mind giving it another go maybe booking something ahead of time and getting a better accommodation. Otherwise, I love that place. I also don't mind trying out Bangkok, but I've always been curious to see what island life is like in Thailand. So there's an island in Thailand called Koh Lipe that I want to check out and possibly live there for quite some time. And I will definitely do that the next time I get a chance to go back to Thailand. Number four on the list is a country that I did not expect to love until I went there and I fell in love with it as well. And that is Malaysia. Malaysia is hands down one of my favorite countries in the world. It's definitely in my top five most favorite countries of all time. My favorite city in the world is also there, which is Kuala Lumpur. I usually hate big cities, but I love Kuala Lumpur. I don't mind living in Kuala Lumpur for a long period of time because I like the city a lot. But other cities that I do want to check out includes Penang and Langkawi. Now, I did get a chance to go to this one island called Labuan, which I also really like. It's this island between Brunei and Borneo. And I thought it was so cool there. They had such good food. And this island seems very interesting to me. So I definitely want to check that place out again at some point in the future. The interesting thing about Malaysia is that you can have modern amenities there. But if you wanted adventure, there's also a lot of adventurous things to do in Malaysia. So you get the best of both worlds and they have fast internet and it's also the hub for air asia so you can go to other asian country very easily so i think malaysia is almost like the perfect country for any person who wants to pick a place to be their travel hub number five on the list is indonesia and indonesia is famous for bali and a lot of digital nomads live in bali so i want to check out that scene and see what it's about i've been to bali before but i did not get a chance to see the digital nomad scene i went there to see the komodo dragon island so next time I go back there, I want to go see it from a different lens. I'm also curious to see what's in East Java in the main island of Indonesia. And Indonesia is a fascinating country to me. I do find the locals very friendly, but there's also a lot of scammers there. So it's kind of a country that you have to be very cautious when you go there. But because the locals are friendly in general, once you get around the scammers, 
then it's a very beautiful country for you to check out. So I definitely want to check out Indonesia again at some point. Number six on the list is Poland. So Poland is probably my favorite country in the whole of Europe. And I got a chance to be there for an entire month during my one year trip around the world. And my favorite cities there is Krakow and Wroclaw. So if I do get a chance to live there long term, then those two cities would be the one I would pick. The prices in Poland is comparable to Malaysia. So it's cheap, but it's not as cheap as Thailand but it's still pretty good and the infrastructure in Poland is very good. The airport in Warsaw is a little bit chaotic, so I don't recommend transiting through the airport. I almost missed my flight a few times through that airport, but overall this country is fantastic. It is my favorite country in Europe, so that's definitely a country I would love to go back again one day. And the seventh country in the list is a surprise to me because I only went there to check it off my list of countries that I visited, and that country is Serbia. Serbia is probably the friendliest country in the whole of Europe. I know I love Poland, but I do think that Serbian people is just a little bit friendlier than the Polish people. Not saying anything bad about Poland, because Poland is really friendly, especially once you get over their poker face. But the Serbian people are just so warm, so welcoming. And I think as a digital nomad, the prices there are very low. So it would be in your best interest to go there if you are a budget digital nomad and you're trying to stretch your dollar. I would say the infrastructure there wasn't that good the last time I went to Serbia, especially in Belgrade. But last I heard, they have done massive upgrades in the city. So I'm really curious to see what are the new changes in this place. Now my travel style is usually very fast where I just go to the country, check it off as a country visited. But because I have seen the seven beautiful countries and I really adore them, this would be the seven countries that I would go out of my way to visit again and live long term and really get to know these places. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Free newsletter where you can get a 10 step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a round the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.